Hey everybody, Rob Logan here for the Geek Generation, and today we are taking a look at Moto Racer 4. I've had a little time with the game so far to play both in the motorcycle races and the dirt bike races, uh, and I'm enjoying it so far. We're going to take a quick look at both of those, so let's hop into the career mode. As you can see right now, I've completed just a few of the early career things. Uh, I'm going to take a look first at one of the motorcycle races, but before we do, one of the things that I really like in this game is the uh, ability to customize your racer. So if we take a look at the paddock real quick, uh, I've already changed the colors of my racer here and given a nice little look on the back, a uh, little graphic. You can adjust for alternate colors too, so if you want to adjust all these schemes, you can do that. I've only modified the black and red because that's my uh, color scheme that I like to use in pretty much everything. But it's nice to have the ability to switch back and forth between a few different looks that you like. As you go to customize your rider, you have the option to change things like the different colors of the suit, the helmet, uh, the emblem on the back. Like I mentioned, I put a little nice flaming skull on there. Almost looks like a Rey Mysterio mask going on. So I thought that was pretty cool. Going back to my wrestling roots for a moment. Uh, and then the bike itself, you can change some of the colors on there. I pretty much match up colors all the way through. But even that level of customization is more than a lot of games have these days. Uh, and it's nice just to have that option there. You also have the ability to use both your dirt bike and your motorcycle there. So you can see how the looks are slightly different for both of those. And if you adjust them for one, they pretty much carry over into both. So I'm going to move back here. We're going to grab our guy. He's doing that little Power Ranger pose. And uh, let's check out one of the races for the motorcycle track. We're going to do a single race here. I've already completed second place. There's a good chance I'm not good enough to play first place. So I'm going to do the second again. So I don't look like a complete failure. Now, one of the things I should mention is that I am not the greatest person in the world at racing games. It usually takes me a level of adjustment to get used to them at all. And I totally screwed up that thing. So that is your turbo boost at the beginning. And it gives you uh, a much needed boost at times. Sure, avoiding traffic. So I'm just swerving here. Um, this is the first time in years. Oh no, that's not good. This is the first time in years that I have played a Moto Racer game. And I do remember the learning curve on a Moto Racer game being kind of steep. Just in the sense that you control so sensitively your motorcycle. And it does take some getting used to. Moto Racer games though, for sure. Uh, love to use the wheelie to give you your acceleration boost. And if you can learn how to control that, then even making all the mistakes that I'm bound to make here, you can still keep yourself in the race pretty well if you can master that wheelie and control of it. Hugging the turns as much as possible here. Oh boy. Now at first I was getting a little frustrated uh, playing through because I saw that there was the ability to do tricks and everything and I was trying to do it during the motorcycle races. But stupid me not remembering that that stuff is pretty much reserved for the dirt bike races. And oh damn, there it is again. And I had a uh, recovery turbo ability there, but it's one that I just earned. So I'm still not really used to using it. Oh boy, here we go, here we go. And you're hearing maybe a little pop every now and then. Uh, I don't, I don't know anything about motorcycles, and I'm just gonna keep running headfirst into cars, guys. Um, I don't know anything about cars and motorcycles. I am not an automotive expert by any means. So there's a little pop that's happening from the motorcycle, and I don't know what that is being caused by. Uh, I'm assuming it's something you would hear during a regular race. But it's it's a sound that's kind of oh shit! <laughs> Come on, focus, man. Um, it's a sound that's been kind of pulling me out of the game a little bit because I'm wearing uh, earbuds right now, and I was playing with a speaker before, and that little crackle, that little pop that's happening, 
It makes it sound like my speakers are being damaged, even though after quite a bit of playing now at this point, I know that they're not. It's maybe the one element of the game that I'm not a fan of so far. Uh, because it does, it does sound like my sound stuff is breaking. Even though at this point I know it is just the game. That was just stupendously dumb. It's always more difficult to do these, so we gotta win right there. Um, it's always way more difficult to play the game, and I always look way, way worse when I am talking while I'm doing this. Just because my focus is split between trying to tell you guys everything that I want to tell you about the game and actually paying attention to the game itself so I can show you. So we're going to maintain our performance rank right there. As we go into the next race. So uh, there were the two motorcycle races here. When you complete those, they unlock and you can get into this multi-race area right here. This is several different courses where you can complete those and move on. I believe I need to get three stars on at least one of these, if not all, to move on to the racer that's actually locked right there. I'm not 100% sure yet. I haven't gotten to that point, but I guess we'll see. But let's take a look at one of the dirt bike tracks here. Now, the first one is last man riding. Every now and then there's a time interval and whoever's in last place gets bumped out of the race. Uh, that's fun, but I like a good solid straight up race. So let's go with that. I've barely been able to control myself here. and It's been kind of nonsense, uh, but I'm going to go into that to show you guys how the dirt bike handles differently, what you can do trick wise. And I'm just going to try and uh, maintain some sort of control because as you'll see pretty soon, I am just a mess. Rocky Chaos, the Four Eyed Springs. The levels are gorgeous. I will absolutely give them that. A lot of fun. Boom, we nailed our turbo boost right there, which gives me a quick lead into first place. This is where our drifting really comes in handy too. It seems like the, the dirt bike races are more involved than the motorcycle ones. So I feel like I have more to do. There's more to keep me entertained as I'm going. There's our trick right there. Uh, so I have been enjoying the dirt bikes more so far, even though at times they feel a little more difficult to control. But there also seems to be less oncoming traffic so far in my dirt bike racing. So that's probably a huge plus. Now I should be going for the tricks here. But I'm not paying as much attention as it should be. That's a small area, but we still got our trick done. And just made it over the gap. We're going to hit the wheelie whenever possible. But I don't want to lose control of my dirt bike either. Looks like we have a solid first place lead at the moment. A few different paths here, which is always nice. You like to see that in a racing game. Uh, it allows you to... Oh, hands up real quick. Uh, it allows you to get some expertise building and learning the tracks so that you can learn all the shortcuts. I always love having that and discovering all the secrets in a map. It gives the, the races a lot of replayability. Can we get a quick one in? No, I did one that took too long. That's my fault. That's my fault right there. Trying to sneak in tricks where they don't belong. And again, I'm hearing that, that audio crackle, that audio pop. That's kind of been bugging me. Oh man, am I gonna make a flip? No, I'm not. I hadn't even attempted a flip in this game until just right then. You guys saw my first one and uh, you, you watched me epically fail at it. That guy just took a dirt nap too, so. I'm not the only one here. I'm wondering if there's gonna be another opportunity to try and get a flip in. Ah, there we go. Stripped off to the side. 
I keep thinking that's going to be a bigger jump than it is right there. Oh. Almost went for the flip. Realized I didn't have enough time. Cut off that trick early. Let's get some speed going here. Yeah, quick hands up. How you doing? Oh no, right in the water. I'm looking for a place where I can get another... Another big piece of air. Look at that, uh... I don't know if that's a geyser in the background or what's going on there, but... Oh boy. We're up. Land in that. Now we're hitting all the tricks. I'm gonna get cocky soon, I know it. I'm gonna screw up something big time. I think we're right at the end here. We are. There's our victory. Little celebration riding going on at the end there. But I am really enjoying the uh, dirt bikes. I enjoy the motorcycles too, but as I mentioned, I just feel like there's a lot more to do with the dirt bike races. <laughs> nice little crash right at the end. And I'm ready to aim for three stars, apparently. So I have not attempted yet this multi-track. It does say multi-race. There are three races in here, it looks like. So let's give this a shot for the first time. You guys can see me take on something that I haven't attempted yet. Tree Feller Pathway. Now the nice thing it does is for these multi-races, these are not necessarily new courses. Let's hit our turbo and we missed it. Lovely. Oh no! Hit the button, dum-dum. So this was the track from the elimination race. So it's not something that I haven't attempted before. So I have a little familiarity with it. I'm not just attempting something new here. And then the second race will most likely be the things stay consistent with the motorcycle races. It will be the track that we just rode on. And then I believe the third. Oh, we're going for the flip again. Not happening. Uh, <laughs> I don't know if I have to increase my stats or something on that or attempt the flip earlier. There's probably a whole bunch of things I need to do and I'm just not at a skill level yet where I can pull that off. But the third track in this race will most likely be... Oh, we're just dropping down there. Oh, look at that air you can probably get right there. That was nice. Not going to do it again. <laughs> we're going to keep attempting it and just not make it. I am in fourth place out of four. And we cannot let that happen. So no more backflipping here. We're going to go for the win. Here we go. Somehow got back into second already. I'm gonna crash, because I can't control my bike. Let's get a boost here. No more flip, just, just boost tricks. See if we can catch up to this guy. Look at that drifting. Look at that drifting. Oh boy. We missed that big air again. But, we are in first place now. And I'm gonna crash right into that rock, aren't I? Oh! 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 I thought I was gonna be out of bounds, but it was just enough to keep us in the race. And we got it just in time to finish in first. Thank you very much. I brag, but I, I failed so many times during that race. So bad. So bad. Rocky Chaos! Boom, nailed the turbo boost that time. And this is the course that I'm a little more familiar with. It's a little more open. We can kind of go nuts here.
Woo! Hands up. We're already way in the lead. This course is a ton of fun. Probably my favorite one so far. Oh, nope, nope. I always forget about that every time. Can I land here? Yeah. This is an awful surface to ride a motorcycle on, I feel like. Again, I have no knowledge of actual dirt bike racing. I don't know if grates like that are a mainstay. Or if they're just all video game integration. Integration? What am I talking about? Guys, words are hard. Yeah! No! I feel like there's a stat that I'm going to be able to increase at some point that allows me to increase my rotation and maybe do flips faster. Or I'm just really starting them far too late. Like, I have to know there's a big air jump coming up and I gotta go for it right away. But one of the reasons I think I'm not fantastic at racing games, aside from just clearly not being able to, like, look at, what did I just do? What the hell was that? Aside from not being able to control my bike. Oh, see, that was, that was a nice opportunity, maybe. Um, aside from not being able to control my bike ever, I have the worst navigation out of, like, anybody I know for video games. So learning courses, I'm not going to remember where the big jumps are. It's just not going to happen. Unless it's, like, completely illustrated to me with giant neon signs that say, Hey, dum dum, big jump coming up. Get ready for that flip. I'm going to have a hard time remembering. Or I just have to play this course a ridiculous amount of times. Which I'm not opposed to. Because I enjoy the hell out of it. Oh, we just snuck that one in. Oh, there we go. We got to mix up our tricks every now and then, right? I get in the habit of hitting the same button combos. But we got to mix it up. See, right there, maybe I can go for a front flip. A front flip's probably way easier because I just put the nose of that bike down real quickly. Started to go into it. So maybe that's the way to go. Backflips are probably way more difficult. Plain sailing. So as I thought, first two courses are things that are familiar. The next one, last one, is totally new. And now I did see a plane on that overview that looked like it might lead into some big air. I am, what am I doing? This is what happens when I don't know a course well. I just end up all over the place. Now I'm just making noises. Intensity. Intensity, guys. Look at that sun. Look at the look at the lighting effects. I like it. It's also it's also confusing the shit out of me. But they look nice. I'm just admiring the background and I'm not paying attention to what's going on. Oh come on, really? I missed that. I'm just riding beside it. Awful. Get your game together. I'm in first place still. Oh, 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 is this it? Oh, that is not as big air as I thought. 
It's a nice jump, but it's not a big air jump. Here we go. Big drifting opportunity right there. Take that tight corner. Last lap. All right. I don't want to miss that jump again. That looked way too fun. Let's see if I can not suck on this lap. Let's try that for a change. It's hard for me not to be terrible, but we're going to try our best here. Oh, this is it. This is it. No, I'm the worst. I want to turn around and do it again. I apologize, guys. I was really excited for that. And I'm just awful, awful, awful. I cannot control this bike. I feel like that's supposed to be a bigger jump than I'm making it too. Like I said though, these motor racer games, as much as they've evolved, uh, there's a lot of the same classic motor racer stuff that you remember from back in the day and still love. A lot of the same handling, a lot of the same gameplay, a lot of the same skill progression, uh, with a bunch of new stuff added on top of it, and obviously, way increased graphics. But I think that's gonna do it for this video, guys. I hope you like what you saw. Motor Racer 4 is out right now, so go out and get your hands on it. If you want to see more of what we do here at the Geek Generation, please subscribe to the channel. You can also watch us play games live at twitch.tv slash thegeekgeneration. And I will see you next time.